Hey guys, welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. And uh, it's Monday, and I just got home from work. It was a pretty, pretty brutal day today. Granted that, you know, it's Monday and all. Mondays are usually quite, it's Monday. But today was just a terrible day for many, many reasons. A couple of my deliveries got screwed up today. I had to drive the very old plow truck, they call it, because it used to be the snow plow truck at the dealership. And uh, I had to use it for one of my deliveries. And then of course, on my way to this place, which is almost in the middle of nowhere, the uh, power steering line, <laughs> one of the power steering lines decided to blow out, so, the power steering pump, of course, ran dry, and I I had to uh, stop off and get some of that, but uh, that was an inconvenience. But the worst thing that I found out today was that one of my fellow um, co-workers at my last job unfortunately passed away last night, and that was actually the first thing that I found out today. So. You know, regardless of what else happened after that, I mean, this whole day, the whole day just was off balance. But just knowing that somebody who um, I really enjoyed, you know, talking to and such at one, well, well when I worked there anyway, I haven't, I haven't seen her since. But um, yeah, she, I, I don't know what happened, um, but unfortunately, she, she passed away and. Um, it was kind of on my mind all day today. Um, I know it's definitely on a lot of people's minds today. People I worked with, her family and friends, and she was just a great person. And I'm just really, it was just really sad to hear that this had taken place. So I think just that in general, also being on my mind and stuff. The day, this was just an awful day, and I'm glad to be home. I'm glad that the work portion of it's over. Uh, you know, it's just the rest of this day. You know, we're just uh, we're gonna move on. So um, we're gonna move on. So the first thing I'm going to do is make myself dinner. My wife is not home. She is actually in training for a a new part-time job that she had actually acquired and uh, I will go into more detail as to what she's doing uh, once you know we find out everything goes into motion but she's not home she won't be home for another two or three hours I think and I'm hungry and I'm not really quite the cook around here so what am I gonna make myself for dinner good old macaroni and cheese it's a four pack, but I'm not going to make all four, obviously. I'm just going to make one. The four pack was just convenient. I don't care how old you are. Macaroni and cheese is one of the best meals ever. Now this entire vlog is not going to be about macaroni and cheese. This is just the beginning. I'm going to show you guys what I really want to do after I cook and eat that. So. Let's get cooking.
Ah. All right, time to eat. Oh boy, that was good. All right, so we're in the basement now because there, there are things down here that I found that I want to show you guys. And it's something that I've always wanted to do since I was like a kid. And this was my opportunity. So I'm driving in my neighborhood and I turn the corner up to go onto the next street and I see these items sitting on the curb. Now normally I'm not one to pick up anything from the curb, but this time I made an exception. The guy who lives in the house was actually standing outside. He was cleaning his back shed, which is where he pulled these items from. So I drove up the street and then I got to thinking, why don't we ask about these? So I put the car in reverse and I backed up to the house and uh, I asked him um, if he was indeed throwing these items out. To which he said, yeah, they were in his shed, he was cleaning the shed, so he just put them out there like five minutes before I showed up. So I asked him if he wanted anything for them, to which again he said no. If you want it, or if you want them, you can take them. So I took them. So what are they? You may be asking yourselves. They happen to be the third row seats to a Pontiac Montana minivan. Now he obviously didn't have the van anymore. He says when they got rid of the van, he forgot to pull the seats out of the shed and they got rid of the van a little while ago. So the seats just kind of sat in there for a while and he had no need for them since he had gotten rid of the vehicle. So these were actually not in bad shape. I looked at them before I took them. As you can see, they are folded. When they're folded down, they have cup holders on the back sides of them. Okay, so that's what they look like when they're actually opened. Um, you can tell when they're not leaning against something. They kind of go toward the floor just because obviously uh, the way that they're designed to sit in the van, you know, so I would have to have you know, something in the back to actually prop them up a little bit. But for the most part, you can see that they're actually in really decent shape. Um, there are some dirt stains on them a little bit. There's a s mark right there. There's some marks over here. Um, this one actually is the better out of the two. You can see it's pretty much entirely clean. Um, they're nice, nice soft fabric, you know, so uh, I am going to actually, uh, you know, spray some laundry detergent on them uh, in the way that I cleaned my mom's seats and such. So I'm going to clean them up a little bit. I'll vacuum them. I'll probably vacuum them first to get any loose dust and dirt off. And then I'm going to go through it again with the... Um, laundry detergent and a, um, a brush. Now basically I didn't really get to the point as to why I took these seats. And the reason why I did is because I w always wanted to have furniture that were made out of vehicle seats. Um, now granted the minivan seats would not be my first choice. Like I would rather have something from um, like a Corvette or something, a Corvette seat. <laughs> um, but, you know, the minivan seats were there and I figured this would be a good opportunity to try and do this. Um, if they were captain's chairs, I think it'd be better. Uh, but being that this is technically like a bench seat, um, I really didn't, wasn't my first idea. But since it is a bench seat, I actually want to build something so that way you can either push them together like this or you can sit on them individually. So I'm going to to vacuum these and, and scrub them out a little bit but I'm also going to start measuring the width and stuff of these seats and see exactly what idea I can come with come up with to um, build a device that I can set the seats into. Now my original idea was to actually have something similar to a table 
just not high, as high as a table, but I want the legs to be about as high as my kitchen chairs. And then I want to kind of have somewhat of a tabletop, but of course it's cut out, so you can actually, there's more to it, but you can put the seats inside, kind of like a frame, and the seats will just sit on it, therefore you can sit in it. So it actually makes it easy that way. I don't, want to, I don't really want to build something that's going to be a permanent fixture um, in case we ever have to move these. The nice thing about these seats in particular is if I build this device and I want to move the furniture or put it away or something, move it to another location, if I, we ever move out of the house or such, I can pull the seats out of this device, fold these seats up, and just carry them away. That was the nice thing about finding minivan seats because of the fact that they fold. Uh, I know when you first look at these seats, the way that they're they're kind of spread out there, you can tell um, this was the third row. Um, this would be the uh, rear passenger. This would be the left rear passenger, right rear passenger, your third row or your your center person there. You can just kind of tell from the design of the seat also, especially where the handles are. They would have to be on the end of the outboarding uh, wall of the vehicle. So anyway, that was my idea. Um, these have been down here for a few weeks now and I never got around to actually filming anything about it. Uh, but I think I'm going to actually start working on this project. So my uh, rigid vac is sitting right back there, so I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to clean them off a little bit and then I'll go to do the scrubbing and we'll see just how good we can make them look. These really are soft seats and I hope that when I wash them or scrub them and they dry, I hope they don't get really um, stiff. Now one other thing that I was thinking about too, and I, I honestly don't know if there's a way to do it, but if I was able to actually take this entire thing off of the seat, um, that would be awesome too but as you can see I think these are stamped in there or welded in there or such um, this has a plastic guard on it but you can see it still has the mechanisms to actually pull them out of the floor of the minivan front and rear this would be like the front you pull on the strap and it unlocks it there but if there was a way to get this off and I really don't think there is it's pretty much built onto the frame of the seat um, you know that would make it better but if I had to leave this on there um, I honestly wouldn't care this this wouldn't be touching my floor with how high that I would be uh, designing this mechanism to put on top put the chair on top um, so it really doesn't matter to me either way if they're gonna be on there or not but it was something I was considering I, I don't think there's any way for me to actually take that off though Okay, so they were both vacuumed down and uh, I propped it up on top of a tote because all of my tables are full of junk and this one's not just uh, built. So this tote was the next best thing, that way I'm not killing my back by bending over so much. So this, this is the worst out of the two and uh, like you can see this spot here, hopefully we'll get rid of that. Um, there's a similar spot somewhere down in here. Uh, there's a yeah, stain right there, so we'll clean it up. Uh, that might be a grease mark or some sort, um, so we'll get rid of that. But I'm going to do the same tactic that I used when I cleaned my mother's car. Here I have diluted laundry detergent, bleach free, in a bottle of somewhat hot water. Um, the only difference is I'm going to spray it this time. Uh, I might have done too much water when I cleaned my mom's seats because it took forever for them to dry and uh, they just, they dried okay but it took forever. So I'm not going to douse these in water like I did the other one. So I am going to just heavily spray and then I have the uh, scrub brush. So we're going to use this. and. Uh, Hopefully we can break some of this stuff up. Then, again, I'm going to vacuum the water using the shop vac. And uh, we'll see how they turn out. 
Okay, we can see already during the first scrub that that uh, whatever that was was starting to come up actually quite nicely. So, just gonna keep hammering away at it a little bit. And then dry it off, see how it looks. All right, so I sprayed it down, I scrubbed it, I did two passes. Um, the spray bottle technique is definitely working better because it feels damp, but it is very soft still. It doesn't feel like it was completely soaked. Um, for the most part, the stain that was here came up. Um, there might still be a small hue of where it was, but for the most part, um, it's gone. Uh, I laid the other seat down. You can kind of already see a difference in how much cleaner the other one is compared to uh, the one that's here that I haven't done yet. So, uh, you really don't realize how dirty these seats are until you get some soap and water on them and you start scrubbing them. So, I'll see how this one looks when it completely dries. I gotta find a way to sit it up so I can do the actual bottom and then we'll move on to this seat here. Okay, that works out pretty well. So on this side, you can see again, we have the stain that's dripping around the side there. Uh, we got this mark here and we've got this mark here. Um, so hopefully we can make it look as good as the seat back does. Even with the seat back, you can kind of see a difference on how much grayer this one is rather than this being somewhat of like a, a gray brownish. And there's the seat bottom so it looks just as good as the seat back uh, for the surprising part of it all that grease stain did manage to come out um, not entirely perfect but uh, I was able to get the majority of it out so you really can't tell it's probably gonna look really good when it dries the side spots gone the stain here is gone the stain over here is gone I think it looks awesome. And I know there's some marks on here, like these here. Um, this other seat has it too, but I think that's just from where how they were sitting, you know, when they're closed and stuff. It's got line marks like where the seatbelt buckle is sitting. Um, other than that, it looks good. I really miss this GM fabric. This fabric that they were putting out in the vehicles in the 90s and 2000s, I mean, they were really soft. They had color patterns in them, which gave it an awesome design. I just love this pattern. So that's one thing that I'm really glad of, <laughs> um, with these seats, glad with is the fact that when I happen to find a pair of seats that have this particular type of fabric. So definitely um, thankful for that. I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Not entirely damp or soaked, just uh, it's actually not even really all that damp. It's, it, there's some spots that need to really dry, so I'll clean the other one and we'll see what the finished products look like. All right, they're all cleaned up. They're drying right now. Like I said, they're not really wet, so they're just a little damp, so really shouldn't take long for them to dry. They still feel extremely soft, so that's awesome. They look a lot better now uh, with, without those uh, stains on them. So hopefully, uh, maybe within the next week or so, I can actually start getting the material and coming up with an idea on how to exactly build these, put them together. So like I said, I have an idea. I just hope it works. So that pretty much concludes this vlog. Just a kind of a lot of nonsense, I guess, <laughs> after a very... Uh, very stressful day so this was my way of kind of relaxing for the rest of the night my wife should be home any minute um, I didn't hear her come in the entire time I was down here so I'm assuming she's on her way home but um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this process I can't wait to actually see what the finished products gonna look like 
And that's really all I gotta say. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this. If you made it through this far, I appreciate it. Um, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you did like this vlog or if you like any of the other vlogs or Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, which, by the way, don't forget to check that out in case you haven't already. That is the official vehicle touring segment that I post on this channel. New episodes will be uploaded every week, hopefully. I did not have a chance to go out this week because the weather's been kind of eh, so hopefully uh, in the next couple days I can get something out there. So, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Take care.